Hello everyone, in this video let us talk about uh, the new version of uh, Script Runner for Jira. So today I updated my uh, Script Runner for Jira add-on and uh, I upgraded to the version 5.5.3 and in this version there are some uh, new changes and most of these changes are of course related to uh, not only the UI but of course uh, there are some other changes uh, that are or that could be interesting. So I'm also exploring today these uh, new features and I thought uh, maybe I'll uh, record this uh, video and I'll uh, share it with everyone. So you can of course upgrade your uh, uh, script runner for Jira app or add-on and uh, as a good practice, always uh, read the release notes. So there is a page on uh, scriptrunner.adaptivist.com. You can um, go through this page. You can uh, take a look at uh, the new version and uh, what are the fixes and maybe some other features. So you'll probably find uh, some documentation. But uh, if you update your, uh, your uh, script runner for Jira, you can just start looking uh, and uh, explore the new features. I recommend you to first do it on uh, a test environment and uh, it is a good practice. Don't really upgrade directly or update directly on uh, production. So if you look at uh, this uh, page on uh, the, the, the script runner Adam page, there are some changes. Uh, first of all, it looks a bit uh, different. So you can uh, see here, the moment I open this script runner, the first section is browse. And on top there is a message. What do you think of our new browse page? Tell us in our quick survey. So you can uh, fill up this survey or you can just uh, ignore it. And the whole idea here is, I believe, when, I, when I'm looking at it, is I, I believe to make it easy for, uh, for, the, for, the, for the user, not really the user, but the admin to find their way. So you have uh, these uh, big icons called as administer, automate, customize, customize and extend. So if you click on uh, administer, I believe the list below will uh, be uh, shortened and it will probably just display specific things. So right now, if you, if you look at this particular, uh, this particular listing, you have this uh, all categories, which is probably disp displaying uh, everything potentially that you can do with script runner. Okay, so of course, uh, apart from the the main categories uh, where you can uh, click on administer or you can uh, click on automate or you can click on customize or maybe extend. So you can see here that the moment you select these options on top, the list below is probably uh, uh, filtered based on these categories. So when you select automate, you can see here that you have things like escalation service, uh, then custom listener. And again, apart from the main categories on top, you can also see some other categories, which are, you can call them subcategories, or you can uh, probably uh, do further filtering based on uh, where these uh, these features will be applicable. <clears throat> so maybe if there is something to do with workflow or maybe there is something to do with uh, UI or maybe email or maybe uh, project. So I think this is really interesting because uh, now uh, you can easily find your way if you're new to Script Runner. Of course, if you have been using Script Runner, it will, uh, uh, I mean, I'm sure you already know uh, your, your way and you know what these things mean. But uh, especially for someone who is learning script runner, I think uh, these um, main categories, the, these main icons on top will uh, really help in, uh, in understanding different aspects or different features of, uh, of a script runner. And uh, everything else is of course, uh, more or less similar. But uh, when I say more or less similar, I'm talking about these main options mean these main tabs but there are some significant changes to the editor as well so when you go to the script console you can see here that uh, there are some improvements on done on on the code editor so you can see here that there there, there, there is some uh, 
uh, some completion features. You can also take a look at the parameters that you need to use when you're working with maybe a method. And you can also take a look at the Java doc. Of course, uh, we'll uh, take a deep dive into these things. And you can take a look at the documentation where you can uh, know more about uh, the new code editor. And uh, there is a link, of course, on uh, on, on the console page, which will, uh, and that link will basically take you to this particular documentation. You can take your, take your time and uh, uh, read this uh, documentation. And let us take a look at some other aspects. So if you go to the built-in script, there are again some uh, changes and uh, you still have those, uh, those filters. Uh, so basically these, uh, these categories will help you in uh, in navigating or filtering the scripts, built-in scripts that are applicable to project, maybe issue, fields, and so on. So I think uh, the interface is uh, now a bit more uh, intuitive. And let us take a look at the listeners. So I believe the rest of the things are more or less uh, uh, same. I'm just assuming when I, when I look at the interface, uh, there might be some other changes. There might be some new features I'll probably uh, uh, read the documentation and uh, I'll uh, keep you guys uh, posted. But uh, the main sin significant change that I can see here is this uh, ability to navigate or find different features that uh, Script Runner for Jira has to offer. And uh, this new Browse tab, which is the first tab, uh, will will help you in uh, in uh, navigating or uh, looking at different aspects of uh, Scriptrunner. So in this video, I just wanted to quickly show you this uh, new version of uh, Scriptrunner. And I hope this uh, video was uh, useful. Thank you very much.